Hi everyone! Today I will be doing a DIY on how I added some ribbons to decorate and spice up your shirt. The design looks like this and let me show you how I did it. I thought it would be a good thing to spice up your old shirts instead of buying a new one. For this DIY, you can choose any shirt you like. I chose silver and gold glitter ribbons because I like the difference in contrast against the black t-shirt. The items I used are a pair of scissors, a ruler to measure, a piece of chalk, some ribbons of your choice, fabric glue, and the shirt itself. There are a few things to note before doing this DIY. Firstly, I recommend getting a shirt that does not stretch out while it is being worn. This really depends on the material of the t-shirt. This is because the ribbons are not elastic. Unless you get the elastic type of ribbons, the ribbons may constrict the sleeves of your shirt. To prevent this, get a t-shirt that is not stretchy or doesn't stretch out while it is being worn. To add on, the type of ribbons you get may not be exactly the same. This depends on the width, colour and material, which may help to add some texture and pattern. If you choose ribbons with a thinner width, you can add a few more layers of ribbon. But if you get a wider ribbon in terms of length, you may not add as much. So it is really personal preference. As for me, I only have two layers, one silver and one gold ribbon. To start, get an old shirt or top that you are alright with using. As for me, I chose my black t-shirt. Using the sleeve, measure the t-shirt to see where you want to place the ribbon. I chose the gold ribbon to be 1cm above the seam. Next, I marked out where the ribbon should be using my chalk. You do not really need a ruler to be that accurate and precise. As long as both sleeves are identical, it should be fine. Next, taking the ribbon, I measured the circumference of the sleeve. Once you get the desired length, cut the ribbon. I recommend cutting it in a V-shape instead of straight across to prevent the ribbon from fraying. I also recommend to cut it a little bit longer than you need so you can trim off the excess. Remember, if it's too long, you can cut it shorter, but if it is too short, you cannot make it longer. Yes, you can use a few ribbons to form one long one around the sleeve of your shirt, but I think it would be neater to use one long piece instead of a few little pieces. For an optional step, if you are worried the ribbons may fray, take some fray glue or nail polish to apply at the ends of a ribbon. For a precautionary measure, I placed my ribbons against the shirt to check for any problems and to see if you are satisfied with the length and how it looks. I glued the ribbons because I was sewing challenged, but if you are able to sew it on, that will be even better. Please note where is the best place to end it. I recommend putting it on the inside or the inner part of the sleeves, if not the side edges, where it may be a little less obvious as compared to the top part of your sleeves. When gluing the ribbon onto the sleeve, make sure to press it down so that it sticks properly. Once I am done with the first sleeve, I move on to the next, using the original sleeve as a guide or reference for measurements. It is the same steps as before, measure, cut and paste. When I am done with the sleeves, I move on to the ends of the shirt. It is also the same steps, the only difference is that the ribbons are longer, so you have to be a little bit more careful. Since the ribbon was long, I did one side at a time. I glued the first bit of the ribbon and pasted it on the front of the shirt compared to gluing the whole ribbon at the same time. That's it for this video. I hope my explanation was at least somewhat clear enough. Hopefully, with the video and pictures, it helps you to understand better.
Please feel free to leave any comments, suggestions and requests below and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!